today in this video we are going to learn some basic things about AutoCAD software so here I am going to use the AutoCAD software uh, which is a student version so this student version is freely available in AutoCAD website so you can request a uh, software in the Autodesk website so that uh, will give a three year license once you install you can use it for a three years and now we are going to introduce some AutoCAD uh, screen layouts here so here this uh, AutoCAD is a general purpose computer aided design program from Autodesk so this software application is used for 2D and 3D dra drawing and drafting and designing uh, by the use of this software we can significantly reduce the drawing time and the accuracy of drawing is more compared to traditional or conventional methods so a traditional or conventional methods like uh, earlier uh, we were using all the drafter drawing boards t square compass pencil scale with the help of all those tools we were drawing the drawings so that was taking a very much long time so by the use of this software we can uh, significantly reduce our drawing time and now here uh, you are seeing the AutoCAD screen here so this AutoCAD screen is divided into many parts here so mainly we can divide this AutoCAD screen into uh, title bar, menu bar, toolbar, drawing area, command window, status bar like this we can uh, divide the AutoCAD screen uh, even though we can divide that into many uh, parts like I uh, have uh, divided this AutoCAD screen into 14 parts here so the first one here is the title bar, menu bar, layers, toolbar, draw toolbar properties toolbar, crosshairs, UCS icon, layout tab, model tab, command line, status bar, drawing area, modifying toolbar like this have divided the AutoCAD screen into many parts and you can see here the first one so this is the title bar and the second one this is the menu bar third one here so this is the layers toolbar and the fourth one is a draw toolbar so here you can see the draw toolbar over here fifth one is a properties toolbar here you can see the properties of that particular line what type of line is that and which color is that like that we can uh, set the property in that particular toolbar sixth one is a crosshair here this is the crosshair and seventh one is a UCS icon you can see this UCS icon so this is the user coordinate system icon so whenever we are drawing a 2D so this appears as a X and Y and whenever we are drawing a 3D so this appears as a X, Y and Z usually we will not uh, discuss about 3D so here uh, only thing is we are drawing a, the drawing in 2D and eighth one is a layout tab here you can see the layout tab in this layout tab we have a model layout 1 and layout 2 later I'll explain what that ninth one is a model tab tenth is a command line and eleventh one is a status bar here the status bar the complete uh, or the bottom portion of this AutoCAD screen so that is a status bar and the twelfth one is a drawing area you can see the black screen over here so this is the drawing area and thirteenth one is a modifying toolbar so here this modifying toolbar so in this modifying toolbar we have a move rotate trim delete copy mirror uh, all these things we can see in the modifying toolbar and the last one 14th one is a close restore and minimize buttons so that uh, i think no need uh, and now uh, we'll see one by one about the title bar menu bar and toolbars in this autocad screen here the first one uh, title bar uh, this is located along the top of the window so that uh, which displays the name of the current drawing uh, if you want to draw something and you have to save that drawing with some name so that name will be appeared in this by default this AutoCAD software will give a name as drawing1.dwg so that is a name which is given to the drawing uh, whatever we have drawn so that will be uh, the name of that particular drawing file will appear on, in this title bar and the second one is the menu bar this menu bar it is located directly below the title bar and the various standard windows functions are available as a pull down menus here and the drawing command are also available in this pull down menu so in this menu bar we can see the home, insert, annotate, 
parametric 3D tools, weave, manage, output, add-ins, A360, express tools, featured apps, BIM360, performance. These are all the menu which comes in AutoCAD. So when we click this uh, button, this will be appeared as a pull down menus. And the next one is toolbar. In this toolbar, we are going to categorize this toolbar as a standard toolbar. In this standard toolbar, and this contains uh, the buttons for standard functions like draw, modify, annotation, layers, properties, and many more. In under the toolbar, we have a uh, many standard functions. So now we'll see what are there in the toolbar. Um, draw toolbar in this draw toolbar so this contains the drawing commands the drawing commands are nothing but well, uh, the drawing tools which is helpful uh, draw in, in the drawing of particular uh, design so here under this draw toolbar we have a different commands used for drawing like a line polyline polygon rectangle circle arc like these type of things we're going to see under the draw toolbar in the modify toolbar uh, we have a uh, different commands used for editing the drawing like uh, editing means uh, we, we can move the uh, drawing or object within the drawing like uh, uh, moving from one place to another place and rotate the objects trim the objects and delete the objects like this we can have a uh, many commands in the modifying toolbar uh, the drawing area so this is the major part of the uh, screen uh, which covers in the particular that cat screen the which is a blank area that occupies most of the screen so that is a drawing area and the workspace for drawing so whatever we have to draw so that should be drawn in that drawing area only and at the bottom of that particular uh, drawing area there is a tab labeled as model and layouts this model refers to the mode in which drawing and editing can be done in the layout tab so that uh, where uh, in the earlier we have seen that model and layout at the bottom of that particular drawing area in that layout tab that is used for plotting and drawing and the next one is a UCS icon uh, UCS icon is nothing but user coordinate system icon uh, usually while we're drawing a 2d drawings so this appears as a X and Y so this X and Y so this shows the positive uh, the arrow whatever the direction of that particular X and Y shows the positive direction of X axis and Y axis and whenever we are drawing the 3d drawings that will appear as a X Y and Z three axis and now the most important one is a crosshairs, pick box and cursor together we are going to call it as a cursor when we are move the mouse over the catch screen so this cursor changes depending on the current active command over here the current active command is nothing but whether the command is from uh, draw toolbar or whether the command is from modify toolbar like that that will going to be set like uh, um, by default the cursor appears as a small plus sign with a box at its center you can see here in this figure so this appears as a small plus sign and the box at its center here this is the small box and this small box we are going to call this small box as a pick box pick box and it is used to select the object within the drawing in the drawing whenever we are uh, drawing uh, whenever we want to select some circle or a line or any uh, other object in the drawing so this can be used to select that object and uh, when the command is used for creating new object the pick box disappears leaving just crosshairs so here whenever we want to create a new object or a new like a new object like line circle or arc anything so whenever we want to do that so here the pick box this small box at the center of this crosshair will disappear and only this plus sign remains and when the modify command is used such as a delete the crosshairs disappears leaving just pick box so delete or move or whatever that like mirror any other thing if we use so that uh, crosshair will disappear only the pick, pick box will remain 
here and by using that we can select the object and we can modify the drawing and if we, uh, if we move the cursor outside of uh, drawing area uh, that will appear as a standard window like here uh, in this mouse you can see this mouse here so that arrow mark will appear in the standard window and uh, command window and this command window it is uh, docked at the bottom of the screen and all commands can be executed by typing them on the command line so here in this command line here you can see the type a command here in that you just place the cursor and type the command like uh, if you want to draw a line type L I N E line or if you want to draw the circle just type C I R C L E circle and the circle command will activate and you can draw the circle or else you can directly go through the toolbar and you can select the tools whatever you want to draw or else if you are using the command you can use the command also so here in this command window so this initially displays the most recent whatever the commands which we have given to draw the drawing and the status bar the status bar is the last uh, the lo uh, lastly located uh, means the, at the bottom of the screen this status bar is located and this status bar you can see the xy coordinates so here the xy coordinate uh, the uh, values of that xy coordinate will uh, appear in this status bar and if we are using the 3d drawing xyz coordinates are appeared in this one so you can see the models and grid lines and you can uh, select a snap grid ortho object snap etc like these are the many other options so that will come in status and you can see the uh, decimal over here I, this one is to select the type of units which type of units we are going to using and uh, many other options are available in this status bar and we can uh, see the status whatever the active whether the uh, ortho is on or off like that whatever the color which is appearing here whether whether it is a blue color so that means that is turned on if that is in white color so that will be turned off like that we can differentiate that and this is all about the basic of AutoCAD software and in the next section we will see the different commands and how to use those commands to draw the drawings thank you